Right, as you end up our citizen weekend, we want to take you back to the story about uh, the Ethiopian uh, flight that was supposed to land into the country at the JKIA 1035. And uh, we have a board that uh, screenshot from the uh, airport indicating that uh, flight 8302, which was uh, uh, coming from Addis Ababa to Nairobi, it had been scheduled to arrive at about 10.15, but uh, the remarks there is, has been cancelled. Of course, that's an update after that situation that it went down. And there are fears that there has been no survivor on that flight, uh, Boeing 737 80 uh, on this day, 10th a day of March. According to the BBC, it's uh, quoting uh, the Ethiopian airline saying that uh, there has not been any survivor. Uh, the airline added that there are over there were 33 different nationalities on board, and the crash happened at 8:44 local time, six minutes after the flight took off from the Ethiopian Airlines. Once again, 149 passengers and um, eight uh, crew members. And um, all these were from 33 different nationalities. The report being there that uh, there has been no survivor. That's according to the BBC. But according to the government of Kenya, Cabinet Secretary of uh, Transport, that is uh, James Masharia, indicates that they are still waiting for communication, more information from the Ethiopian Airlines. Let's just check what he had to say a few minutes ago when he spoke at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. On our part, as Kenyan authorities, we are waiting for more information to come from Addis Ababa. But in the meantime, we have initiated through Kenya airports um, emergency responses to basically take care of relatives and friends who may be affected and who uh, were to receive the passengers Upon arrival to Nairobi, the flight was expected to arrive in Nairobi at about 10.35 this morning. At this stage, what you've done is to establish uh, two emergency centers, uh, one in what we call Terminal 1D, whereby we shall be meeting the relatives and friends who were to meet the passengers upon arrival. Upon arrival at T1D, uh, those relatives and friends will be directed to the second emergency center, which has been set up at Sheraton Four Points, which is within the vicinity of the airport. The purpose of these centers is to provide uh, the relatives who we call meters and greeters uh, with information as much as we have. At the same time, to provide them with an environment of privacy. Because until we know what has happened, of course there will be a lot of anxiety uh, affecting the friends and relatives affected. We are still waiting for the manifest. So at this point, I cannot tell you the 149 passengers, their nationalities. We don't have the details about which countries they came from. We don't have information about the gender of those passengers. But upon getting that information, which as you know, the primary source of that information will be Ethiopian Airlines. Ethiopian Airlines and of course the Ethiopian government do have the primary responsibility. The airline, but also the Ethiopian government, because the incident happened in Ethiopian airspace. What we are doing ourselves is to provide as much support as is required. And that's why um, we have activated, we have activated the emergency responses here at the Jomokinyata Airport, as we are waiting for that additional information. At this point, what is critically important, what is critically important is to ensure that those families and friends of those passengers uh, on board are accorded the highest level of privacy uh, as we wait for more information. And hence, that's why we have provided those two facilities 
at T1D and the Hotel Sheraton to make sure that we provide them with as much information as we get. We are, as of now, like I said, waiting for the manifest. And without, without that manifest, we cannot provide you with additional information. In terms of the aircraft itself, it is a Boeing 737-800 MAX. And uh, details about the aircraft as well, we shall be waiting for that from the Ethiopian Airlines. When we get that information, we shall be able to provide you with the updates as is required. We are aware that um, there's a lot of anxiety, especially for the relatives and friends of those passengers. And so we would like to request your indulgence in terms of being patient as we wait for this information. It is a very sensitive, emotional matter. We do not want, and it is not our intention, to provide you with inaccurate information. The primary source of information is authorities in Ethiopia, and more so Ethiopian Airlines. But because we are here, we have to make sure that we provide you with as much information as it comes to us. At this point, we have no more information to add, except to say that we are ready to provide you with additional information as and when it is received. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. In terms of relaying information, because some of the family and friends of persons who were expected that we have to answer, why you say that no one has spoken to them? You know. Right, uh, of course, uh, Cabinet Secretary of Transport, when he earlier spoke about their situation, and uh, the latest information, as we said, uh, is that um, uh, from the, according to the BBC, that uh, no survivor on board, and of course, we understand that uh, the flight, uh, the aircraft rather, had a seating capacity of 210, uh, but as we know, there were 157 people there, 149 of them being passengers and eight being crew members, and of course, as we continue to wait for more information, even as we learn that uh, uh, they were from 33 nationalities. For more details, of course, you can uh, stay tuned to Citizen TV and of course on uh, on the website www.citizentv.co.ke on Twitter at Citizen TV Kenya and of the various other platforms that we have for the updates as soon as they come. But so far, uh, the Ethiopian Airlines have not spoken about the situation from their website and also from their Twitter handle and that is what the Cabinet Secretary is saying, that they're still waiting for communication from the government of Ethiopia and the Ethiopian Airlines on the status 